exactly. And what you say is you're under no doubt whatsoever that this, that this is all part of a wider agenda. It is deeply malevolent. We, even though you and I and many other people perhaps used to see the music industry as glitz and glamour and fern, et cetera, et cetera, that's not the truth at all. This is part of something much bigger. And what is that much bigger, Mark? Well, the controllers of the music industry are affiliated with what I refer to as the controllers of organized society. So when you go far enough up the pyramid of power, you find the same groups, the same networks, even the same individuals controlling all yeah. these different walks of life. So it's not just about the entertainment industry. That's a great vehicle they have in their arsenal for mind manipulation and uh, social engineering. But they also control the world of politics and the world of science and medicine and the military and the mass media and every other walk of life. And the idea, well, we've seen it over the past couple of years. We know where they want to take society. This is obvious. It's in their own writings. It's in their own documents. It's the New World Order Master Plan. And all these different components, these picture pieces of the puzzle, serve their role in getting these controllers to their end goal. But they have exposed themselves with what they've done to us over the past couple of years. They've made it so obvious mm. what's going on. They've woken up so many. They would have factored in a whole load of collateral damage in terms of a certain quota of people inevitably waking up to the truth of mm. what's going on. Mm. But I think they've severely underestimated the degree to which it's happened. And I feel it's gonna become their downfall. 